Hello, my friends. So we have a new month coming up. It's almost May. And for May, I thought it would be a good idea for us to set a goal. And a goal is something you want to do or achieve by working hard to do it or achieve it. And we want to make sure that our goals are smart, okay? We want our goals to be specific. We want our goals to be measurable. So how will you know having proof? We want them to be attainable. Is it a doable or possible goal? If we're setting some giant, giant goal, will we actually achieve it or will be will we be let down that we didn't achieve our goal? So making it doable. We want our goal to be rewarding. Is it something special? Will we feel good when we achieve it? And then we want to have some time on our goal. So I was going to do a goal for all of May. So what I did is another art project because trying to make it fun and trying to be creative. So I first took pieces of paper and I watercolored them. So I have my nice colorful squares. Then the first part I did was stating what my goal was. So my goal. This is part of the SMART goal, specific. My goal, watch the sunrise every weekday. So it is specific, it is detailed. Why do I want this goal? Sunrises make me happy. I enjoy, I will enjoy early morning alone time. And why this goal? I can prove to myself that I can do it. Next box I did. I will feel blank when I reach my goal. I will feel very proud when I reach my goal. Next box I want you to do, steps to achieve my goal. I did five steps. And for my goal of watching the sunrise every weekday, very important for me to achieve this goal is that I need to get up on my first alarm clock. So typically I press snooze and snooze and snooze and snooze. And before I know it, it's been an hour later. If I do that, I will miss the sunrise. So first step, getting up on the first alarm. Number two, I want to have my clothes pat picked and out the night before. So then when I want to get up to go watch the sunrise, I don't have to worry about um, picking an outfit. It's already ready to go. So that'll get me out of the door faster. Number three, I'm going to tell my friends. So you are going to achieve a goal if you get other people involved and you have them be your cheerleaders, okay? So the more people you tell, you're held more accountable. Number four, I'm going to make a calendar and I'm going to check off, check off each day that I do my goal. So on the back, I wrote a calendar for the month of May. And what I will do is each sunrise I see, I'm going to check off that day, okay? My fifth Step to achieve my goal is weekly rewards. So for every five sunrises I see, I'm going to give myself a, re a reward, okay? Maybe I'm going to make ice cream or I haven't thought of my rewards yet. But for each five days that I do my um, work towards my goal, I'll give myself a mini reward. And when you completely finish your goal, then you can have a bigger reward. Okay, the next box, what might stop me from achieving my goal? So this is looking and thinking, hmm, what could stop me from achieving this goal? What's going to get in the way of me achieving it? I said, lazy, not waking up, tired. Okay, so my plan for that is I'm going to have my alarm clock in a different room. So when it's going off, I have to get up to go get it. Then my, la my last box I did were my goal buds, my goal buddy or my goal buddies, okay? So I'm going to have three goal buddies that I'm going to check in with. My friend Stephanie, she always wakes up early, so maybe I'll text her in the morning. My friend Molly, she's always a good cheerleader. And my friend Bonnie, she lives in Florida and it is three hours ahead in Florida, so maybe I'll check in with her um, every day to help me achieve my goal. My last little piece, after 
in the end of the month, what did I learn? So going back to our goals are smart. My specific goal, I stated it. Measurable, I'm going to check off each day that I do my goal. Attainable or doable? Yes, it's doable. I didn't say, I want to run a marathon in one month. That's probably too big of a goal. But if I can get up with my alarm clock and go stand outside and go watch the sunrise, it's doable. Smart goal are rewarding. This will be rewarding because it's special to me and I will like to start my day like that. And then time, this is the month of May. So I thought of a few ideas, but I want you to be creative on what goal would make you happy for the month of May. Um, maybe a few goals. Here we go. I can write all my capital and lowercase letters. I can count to 100 by fives. I can count to 100 by 10. I will clean my room twice a week. I will do 25 jumping jacks every day. I will do a random act of kindness every day. Um, I will move one letter up in my reading. I will eat three vegetables a day. I will read one chapter a day. I will work on my art each day, so I will draw one picture a day. Um, I will help my family cook dinner four times a week. I will do the dishes three times a week. So just finding something that will work for you and breaking it down into these boxes. So my goal, why I want this goal, I will feel blank when I reach my goal, the steps to achieving my goal, so five steps, what might stop me from achieving my goal, plan for that that might stop you, and then the goal buddy is very important. So maybe if your goal is to do 25 jumping jacks a day, your goal buddy might be able to help you do those jumping jacks every day. Maybe your brother or sister is your goal buddy and they will do the 25 jumping jacks with you, okay? So it's always nice to have yourself, you're always your best cheerleader. Number one, you're your own cheerleader. But it's always good to have friends that help, friends and family that help you, cheer you on to achieve your goals, okay? So be creative, make it an art project, and then I am going to put this on my wall so it help, keeps me accountable. So I'm reminded of the goal I want to achieve by the end of May. Okay, good luck.